In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to create 3D models in Library Expert and out to a CAD tool. I'm going to open up a library. We're going to open up a variety of a library here. Notice that we don't, do not need any manufacturer names or case codes or part numbers or logical descriptions. We just simply have the component dimensions and uh, for 50 parts and that's the only thing that we need and the 3d model will built will be built exactly like these th component dimensions the height the pin pitch the ball size okay so in other words I can have an aluminum electrolytic capacitor for surface mount and I could have a thousand different dimensions and I'm going to get a thousand different land patterns also I have complete control over the colors. Say I don't like this blue color here and I'm going to change it to silver. And oh, I like that color for my 3D model. Let's click on OK and update the FPX file because I have the whole row highlighted. Up, Update the selected row, yes. Update the footprint name, yes. OK, and then we're going to go out to the to build this one 3d model and I typically have the 3d modeling panel at the end of every CAD tool so here's your CAD tool for instance and we can have you can go to any one of the 23 CAD tools and if it supports 3d modeling you could check it off by using 3d model over here uh, but we also have the 3d step um, all by itself for people who buy library expert just to produce 3d step files and you can set this as set as default CAD tool format which will do and I'm going to save entries as preferences you set up your output directory folder the lead extension for the through hole leads this is dependent upon your board thickness. So right now it, the tool is set up so that all com through hole component leads stop at the top of the board and that you, the user, will add a number or a value. I put two millimeters as a default. Um, you could have any value that you want to go through the board and out the back of the board. And so in a typical 1.57 millimeter thick board, I have two millimeters, so that means the lead's going to stick out approximately uh, 0.47 millimeters out the back of the board, or 16 mils. Now, use step. If I unclick this, it'll create a .stp file. If I click it, it'll create a .ste file. Okay, and the E is the only thing that's missing or not. So then you have material condition. You can have least nominal or maximum. Most people produce nominal 3D models, but you can certainly output maximum if you want to see the maximum material condition of your 3D model. Include suffix in the in the name. Well, this would be the density level. So if you're producing a, a most uh, a density um, library, CAD library, and it's going to put an M at the, at the end of every footprint name, do you want to have that M in your 3D model name also? Yes or no? And that's what that button's all about. So now I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and everything will be set up the next time we come. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the entire FPX file and I'm going to go ahead and build the entire thing. I can select in the gray boxes here which 3D models I want to build or I can click and then shift click on the gray boxes to the left of the footprint name and it'll highlight the rows that I want to build or I can click on the upper left corner gray box and it'll highlight the entire FPX file of 50 parts that I have here and I'm going to use this wrench uh, with this with the screwdriver which is add selected parts to a CAD library and then we're going to go ahead and then have the opportunity to change the density level and to change the units or to whatever I want to do here and then I, when as soon as I click that I go into my 3D model output menu and I could change anything I want here for the vertical access um, typically a Y is on the right plane and that's where like a, like Allegro and Altium want their vertical access to be zero and then some CAD tools will use Z 
um, I'm going to use a Z because I'm going to be going into SolidWorks, okay? And SolidWorks uses Z. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and then create and close, and I'm going to put all the 3D models in this folder here. And here they are in that folder, CAD Tools 3D Models. And there's all the 3D step models that I just built, just like that, per the actual component dimensions. Here is SolidWorks. And we're already open in the CAD Tools 3D Models. And there's the 3D models that I just built on today at this particular time. OK, and we'll open up. Uh, the ball grid array, let's say, or the, we'll, we'll do the aluminum electrolytic capacitor um, that we changed the color on. We changed it from blue. And here is, you want to run a diagnostic on this part? No. And to want to proceed? No. Okay. And then now I have my 3D model in SolidWorks where I can see the component leads. Um, polarity of the colors. Let me open up another one. Uh, open. And it'll open up the BGA. And the BGA, don't forget, we have lots of balls and lots of things to render there. No and no for the, for the diagnostics. And here's our ball grid array that we just created, um, viewing it in SolidWorks. And that's how to use the 3D step module in Library Expert.